it's time to start talking about end behavior. And no, this is not how you acted as a kid after having to sit in the timeout chair for 10 minutes. So here's our first example. We need to figure out what the end behavior is of this graph. W what does that mean? Well, end behavior is basically the behavior of the graph as it ends. But you say that that doesn't make sense. The, the graph doesn't end. See, it goes on infinitely. That's what this arrow means. Exactly. Which is why end behavior is going to have a bunch of infinity symbols in it. Infinity is not a number, but basically when this graph goes on infinitely, we can say that it is approaching infinity. As in, it's going to keep going until it reaches infinity. Which is never. It's never going to. But it's going to keep going on. It's also approaching negative infinity in this direction because the numbers get smaller and smaller as you go to the left, and eventually they will get infinitely small. So the goal of end behavior is to say, what is the graph doing as it goes towards infinity and as it goes towards negative infinity? So the way we'll write this is we'll say, as x approaches, and this little arrow means approaches, as x approaches infinity, y is going to do something. And then we'll do the same thing for this. As x approaches negative infinity, y is going to do something as well. And I just realized this infinity is off the screen. That's nice. So let's first ask ourselves, what is y doing as x approaches infinity? Well, as you'll see, the graph is going up as it goes to the right. And as it goes up, what does is, what is going up mean? That means the numbers are also going up because the higher you go, the numbers get higher. In this case, y is actually also approaching infinity. It's going to keep going up, 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 up until it just can't go up numbers anymore. So in this case, y is also approaching infinity. But what about over here? It says that in this case, x is approaching negative infinity. What is y doing here? Well, the graph, as you can see, is going lower and lower. And as you go lower and lower, the numbers get smaller and smaller. And they are going to keep going smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller until you know, we run out of numbers, which will never happen. So y is also approaching negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. So this is what you would write as your end behavior. As x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Not all graphs are like that. In this case, we have a graph that has a slightly different end behavior. So let's figure out how to find this one. This may look like it's eventually going in a straight line upwards, but that's actually not true. This kind of graph is called a parabola. And basically what this is saying is you are going to be going straighter and straighter upwards as you go up, but you're never going to be going completely straight upwards. This is always going to be slightly going to the left. So in this case, X is still approaching negative infinity here. It's going to keep going farther and farther to the left until it goes through all the numbers. And this way, it's going infinitely to the right. These amounts are going to keep going to the right, to the right, to the right until you hit the end of numbers. So we need to figure out what Y is doing in this case for all of these. So first, let's look as X approaches infinity, as X goes towards the right. It looks like as X goes towards the right, the y, which is the up and down value, is going up because you can see this graph is going up very fast, actually. So this is going to keep going up and up and up and up and up until we're out of numbers. So in this case, as x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity. But what about this side? As x goes to the left and left, which means the numbers get smaller, what is y doing? Well, y is the up and down value, and y is still going up. It's going up just like this side. So it doesn't matter which way you go, left or right it's always going to be going up. So in this case, as x approaches negative infinity, y is going to approach positive infinity. It goes up no matter which way you go. It's never going to go down. So in this case, this is our final end behavior. All right, here's another example. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause the video, try to figure out the end behavior of this graph, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, so first let's go ahead and label our x like before. Here on this side, it's going infinitely to the left, right? So this is going to be approaching negative infinity. And here it's approaching to the right. So this is approaching positive infinity. So for each of these things that X is approaching, let's find out what Y is approaching. So first, as X approaches infinity, which is here, what is Y doing? Is it going up or down? Because remember, Y means up and down. X means left and right. So in this case, as the graph is going to the right, the Y value, which is up and down, is going down. So in this case, as x approaches infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Now what about over here? This is where the graph goes farther and farther to the left. And as it goes to the left and left and left, the graph is also going 
up and up and up. So in this case, y is approaching positive infinity. So this is our final end behavior. All right, here's one more example. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can solve this for yourself, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, so let's find out where it's going to the left and right. Here, this is going to the left, and it's going to keep going to the left, so this is approaching negative infinity. And here, this is going to the right. It's going to keep going to the right this way, so this is approaching positive infinity. So let's find out what y, the up and down value, is doing in both of these cases. Over here, where it's approaching positive infinity, what is y doing? Well, the graph is going down and down and down and down, and down is negative for y. So in this case, as x approaches infinity, y is approaching negative infinity. Now what about here? x is approaching negative infinity here because it's going to the left and left. And as it goes to the left and left, it's also going down and down and down. And the numbers down here keep getting smaller and smaller. So in this case, they're getting infinitely small. So y is going to be approaching negative infinity here as well. So this is our final end behavior. So that wasn't so bad, was it? Just a lot of infinity signs that you have to deal with. But just keep practicing and it'll start making sense the more you do it. The finding end behavior and all this stuff is just a small part of studying graphs in algebra. You're also going to want to know how to actually graph them. So if you're not sure of anything about graphing and you want to learn the basics, then you can watch this video right here. And as always, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.